not, I think it's 60% of 100%. It is not promising at the moment, but we will see from the work of, the, of our uh, dele, dele, delegates of the ANC if they're going to do the work as they promised, and uh, we want to see the South Africa in change. I don't know because it was better the time Nelson Mandela was in charge. Now I don't know. I don't see the future of this country. Oh, well, I'm quite optimistic. Otherwise, I would have packed my bags long ago. No, we're here to stay, and I think things will carry on looking up the way it is now. I uh, don't see any serious problems ahead. Well, I love South Africa. I wouldn't just kind of jump up and want to go overseas at the drop of a hat. I don't feel that way. Um, so I think it's more important to stick around and try and fight for what we believe in and, and try and make things the way we want them to be rather than just sitting around complaining at Briars, you know. Well, at the current moment, still positive. I mean, it's too early to say. It depends what policies that the president's going to bring in. It depends how the rest of the country reacts. I'm positive. I think, um, I think things are going to get better. I think the new ANC government are going to be tougher than the old one, and I think they're going to make an improvement for everybody they have to deliver, and I think the poor people are going to benefit from that. I don't really know. <laughs> I can't tell you, but... We just hope it's a bit of South Africa for us now. Oh, definitely. I'm very, very positive about the future of this country. Um, the fact that we're able to, to run um, such a event-free elections at the back of an IPL tournament um, that is happening within our country, um, the vote of confidence that we receive from the government of India and the administrators of cricket for them to hold uh, the IPL in this country at the same time as we're doing an, a national election, um, the markets responded very well to the, to the election. The run strengthened immediately as a result of the uh, free and fair elections that we had. So generally, I think that uh, the outlook for our country is very, very positive. No, I think it's a definite positive. I think South Africa is the, it's, it's an emerging country, and I think it's a, it is the capital of Africa. And I think going forward, it's going to continue in that vein. And I think people should have more faith in our system, our political system, have more faith in the people that's in charge. Uh, I think, you know, we've got a young democracy and things don't change overnight, so give it time. The changes that I want, you must stick up to the, the promises you did. And our kids, protect our kids. Integrity, less nepotism, less cronyism, honesty, truth, improving where they need to improve. Crime, education, health, welfare. But it's a tough task. It's a big country. There's a lot of people living below the poverty line. Whether the government bring in enough taxes to actually do it or not, well, got to ask Trevor Manuel, I guess. I guess before I expected any new change, I, I would expect um, some kind of recognition of what was wrong in the past. So that's why I'm probably a bit sceptical. You know what? Start looking more at the people, you know, start implementing all the policies that they've always believed in. Uh, stop trying the infighting, stop politicking, actually start getting down to the dirty work. Uh, getting the people to believe in them a bit more. So I think the more they continue in that vein, I think we'll be going, moving forward. Well, less crime. I hope for um, more jobs for people. I hope for less poverty for poor people so that there's less... Um, you know, they don't have to do crime if they've got jobs and income and that sort of thing. So hopefully that's all going to improve. Well, what we all say, less crime, I mean, it's a thing that every person says, uh, less corruption and uh, just come true on all their promises, which is going to be very difficult in this economic climate, let's face it. Money scarce. But uh, they've promised the people a lot. They better come through with it, otherwise they're going to have trouble.